Hey guys, today I'm going to make a quick overview of the add-on bad colors. So the idea behind this add-on is to being able to find any bottleneck, any code smell, maybe call it how you want. Uh, I will call them bad practices because the add-on is, is is using a, a database of, of, of known bad stuff. So it will try to find the context of every function that is known to be CPU intensive. I mean, it will, a, a function that will eat CPU time a lot. Um, Let's jump in. Uh, as you can see, I got a lot of heads up display. There is actually a good vision, a good reason behind it. I'm not a dark copy player. I didn't play dark copy for years, so I I, did, I don't have any add-on. I don't have any. I didn't buy any add-on. I never actually bought any add-on. So I just took some heads up display from the workshop. I actually took a lot of. Uh, I did download a lot of heads up display. I got two pages of that. Um, I will directly oops, jump in and open the menu. Uh, there is kind of the client side and server side on the option. You want to use the like auto close and auto open feature if you need to interact with the add-on you just got. Let's say it's an entity and you need to be sure to understand what the entity is doing. Um, as I'm explaining, I'm sorry, I'm explaining it um, in the text over here and over here. You need to interact with the add-on you're trying to to scan if you if you know what I mean. So every every interaction you do is it will be detected by the bad colors panel, and it will try to find any code smell. So if you know the, the more interaction you do, the more code smells it will be able to find. Same time using heads up, heads up display, I do not need to do any interaction because it's being rendered at the screen on every single frame. Uh, if I got 60 FPS, I will it's being ran 60 times per second simply for every single heads up display. Okay, so I did run the, the scan. Um, as you can see, I got the event for the GMAs. Uh, this is a feature, no, uh, Garisma does not natively do that, so I had to cut a, a GMA parser for that. It does show you the absolute pass even with the GMAs. And for everything else, it's mean it means it's not uh, in the hard -on. So if you put your mouse over the function name, it will tell you what the function is doing. The documentation is being fetched on the fly uh, on the wiki. Exactly the same for the hook, to let you understand what is going on. So this function, which is, okay, the function itself is not EV, but it's sometimes what the developer do with it that can be EV, like CPU intensive. And there is this texture here, this function, sorry, here that is reading the texture um, from the disk. So on every single frame, all of the heads up display you can see here are reading uh, the texture uh, from the disk. So it's obviously destroying performance. The developer is supposed to cache the texture. As I'm explaining it, uh, I'm explaining it, sorry, I cannot speak English, in the um, tooltip. If you do right click on the function name, you can open the documentation on the wiki. Exactly the same for the hook. If you go, if you click on the file, you will get the line of you know the function on the stack call. The stack call is actually being really useful if you want to backtrace um, um, a cut smell because it, it you know maybe show it file but it's actually another add-on calling it. Maybe it's another add-on that is doing shit and it's fucking up all the other add-ons, but it's like it's it doesn't happen a lot. Uh, right here you can see there is some stuff going on with the follow with heads up display. So we can, I guess, be sure there is definitely performance issues with it. Uh, what is funny is actually is Dryer is using multiple HD paint hooks, so it's even worse because it's doing multiple, you know, it could pack all the function in one, but it didn't. I don't know why. And um, if I remember correctly, the Battlefield One, the, Battlef the Battlefield Four, sorry, at the display is completely shit. It's completely destroying the performances. It's reading the texture on every single frame, but like a lot of textures. So this is the idea. Uh, there is no point, like in the logic way of doing your server side scan. At science, I'm only using uh, at the display that in should not be used on the server. There is no reason to to run at the display code on the server. However. I already know what's going, what will be the result of the scan. And as you can see, uh, there is heads up display code. Yep, heads up display code being ran or used on the server. Because the guy didn't put the code in the auto run client, but in auto run. 
and that's it. You, you can obviously export the server side. Whoops. Report to clipboard or the nuclear send one. So let's say you bought an add-on on Gmodster and there is issues. Uh, you now report the issues to the developer. Okay. Um, just because it showed you um, add-on got maybe issues, does that mean you have to open a ticket and tell the, the developer? Um, use your eyes, use common sense, use your brain. Um, on obviously check the, the the call. I mean the the call um, the the number right here. Yep, how many calls there is? If the average had add-on got like maybe forty-four calls on another one got one, don't report the one with only one call. It doesn't make sense. Maybe I do have an example around here. Uh, yep, okay, this one here. As you can see, it got only two calls. There is a good vision behind it. Um, so let's, okay, the one 44, only two. So um, right here, uh, actually, in uh, zero all rush, uh, it does use a fun uh, heavy function in the sync hook. So every single frame, it, maybe it's using it, or even no, it's not, because there is a timer um, slowing down the, the function to not completely destroy the server performance. This is why you need to check how many calls there was. And that's it. Uh, you can use that to auto close and auto repent the menu if you need to toy with the add-on to do some interaction. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about it. Have fun.